Hi, I'm John Beasley. I'm the chief test pilot on the F-35 Lightning II, the Joint Strike Fighter. I flew first flight on the airplane, and since then I've flown a little over 50 flights in the F-35 variant. In the early days of Stovall flying, there was the Harrier, but it was very work-intensive for the pilot. Since then, one of our contract requirements has been to make this Stovall flying to be very easy for the pilot. The technology advancements in computers, basically the fly-by-wire nature of the airplane, and the advanced control of the engine and the integration of the two is really what's made this possible. In the F-35, the way the pilot controls his height is with his right hand, his stick, the same way at zero knots as he does at 500 knots. Push forward, you go down, pull back, you go up. So it's all consistent learning. But the important thing is the pilot, if he just lets go of the stick, the airplane will stay where it is. The Harrier doesn't do that. It requires constant attention to stay there. As you look at the video of Graham Tomlinson coming in to do the first vertical landing, you notice what looks almost like great ease, and in fact that's what Graham said it was, was very easy. We'd worked very hard to make that happen. Conventional airplanes, when you come in, there'd be a great deal of wondering about positioning and those type of things and controlling the hover very precisely. Well, with the F-35, because of the integrated flight propulsion system, it's, it was very easy. The system's doing most of the hard work. The pilot's simply making a decision where he wants to go. You know, one of the truly incredible things about our Stovall airplane is that it's first actually a combat aircraft. It has the full capability, internal weapons, stealthy characteristics, advanced electronic systems, sensor fusion, all of those capabilities that are so essential to combat and being successful in combat in the 21st century. Sometimes in the past, people have had to compromise on those capabilities to have the basing option that short takeoff and vertical landing brings in Heritage Stovall systems. We compromise none of those. We have an airplane that's a fully maneuverable fighter aircraft, equivalent to any that's out there, and also a supersonic airplane that can fly any mission that's required with all of the sensors and all of the data link and all the communications that are becoming the future of aviation. In addition to that, the airplane can come in and simply come to a stop and do a vertical landing at the right place. I think the guys on the ground are going to absolutely love this airplane because they're going to know it's there and it can get there quickly to help them.